welcome back to a Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be going on a solo Hazard 5 mission with Scout here, bringing the M1000 Classic as the primary today with the Balanced Overclock Hipster. How I have it built is in Tier 1, I have more total ammo. Tier 2, I have better recoil. Tier 3, I have better magazine size. Tier 4, I have super blow-through rounds. And in Tier 5, I have killing machine reload speed. Then, like I said, I have Hipster as a balanced overclock today. How Hipster works is it gives me a much faster spread recovery and a lot more ammo. So I can just spam this thing to my heart's desire and not give a <laughs> On the downsides though, it has a lot lower damage output. Then, for the secondary today, I'm bringing the Zukov Nukies with the voted on unstable overclock cryo mindlets. How I have the Nukies built here today is I have more total ammo in tier one, more magazine size in tier two, better accuracy in tier three, normal normal blow through rounds in tier four, and then get in, get out movement speed. Then, like I said, for the unstable overclock today, we have cryo mindlets. Essentially, bullets get converted into little cryo mindlets upon hitting the ground and will explode and slowly freeze all the bugs that are in that radius of the mine. On the downsides, though, we have a small decrease in damage and a decrease in magazine size. For my flare gun today, how I have it built is I have more duration and bigger magazine size. For my grappling hook, I have maximum reach, uh, the projectile speed in tier three, and the momentum in tier four. For the grenade today, I'm gonna be taking the cryo grenade. And then for Bosco here today, how I have them built is all revised cryo grenades and electric bullets. And then for the mission, I don't know. <laughs> and then for the mission today, we're gonna be going on a mining expedition in Azura Weld with Cave Leech Cluster. And I guess I'll take that beer. Oh man. All right, it's at it. <laughs> I, I was gonna originally take the um, bolts of Bercy with this, but then I was like, I've been using the GK2 a lot with Scout. I'll just bring a different, um, different weapon. I haven't used the M1000 in a while. <laughs> Might as well. Oh man, I'm gonna be recording this video when I'm gonna get ready to get my wisdom teeth removed. Though I'm recording this video in advance i don't know if i'll be uploading or recording and uploading anything after this video for maybe like three days like usual <laughs> i already do that anyways i try to upload within three days of my previous videos so that's that's usually how i do it but anyways yeah i know so i'm getting my wisdom teeth removed so that's fun <laughs> i've been putting it off for a good a good while and not for any particular reason. I'm just, I am like really lazy. <laughs> Every time I go there, they're always like, oh, when, when are you going to get your wisdom teeth removed? We can schedule it now. And then I was like, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. And then I just forget. And I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> I get the reminder every single time I go back in for cleaning. So I might as well finally schedule important thing. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, that is not terrifying at all. <laughs> Besides the factor, it's not going to be too bad. I've never really been afraid of the dentist. I went in there to get a filling a while ago. I had to get um, some some teeth filled because there's threats of cavities. And they used the drill on me. I, I, I always like... I don't know why cartoons always were like, Oh, the drill is so scary. Oh, the drill, the drill. It just feels like... It just feels weird in my mouth. It feels like it's trying to like, I don't know, tickle my teeth, but like aggressively. I don't know how to explain it, but all, all I'm saying is if you're afraid of the drill, um, it's not that scary. It's it's not that bad. Is that really not going to come on, buddy, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, freeze. Breaks over miners, you say? Whatever, just die. You're clearly not gonna get frozen. I don't care. I'm tired of you. <laughs> oh, Steve, you're mine. <laughs> Hello. This is just a really, really fun build, honestly. <laughs> I'm like going off the tip I got for the electro mine lens, which is just 
kind of spray them everywhere. Spray them everywhere haphazardly. <laughs> and just see what happens. Oh, you're puking on me. <laughs> it's not that. There you go. <laughs> nice. Uh, where'd all that Morkite go that I had boss go mine? Unless, did I deposit it? There's no way I deposited 27 after all that. I can't wait for next season. I'm so excited. <laughs> I wonder what other new teasers we're going to be getting as well. That's, that's kind of on my mind as well. I'm like, hmm, what else could they tease? Probably the cosmetics in the past, but I'm going to skip that. Tease. Are you guys eating my Morkite? Yes, you are. You are eating my Morkite. So that's where I went. <laughs> they were eating my Morkite. I yeah, no, did they like? Oh, it's all right here. <laughs> ah, just blended into the floor, the floor. I really hope they add new Mactera. Like, not just like, oh, it's infected Mactera now. No, I really hope they would add new Mactera. Just some new ones. I don't know what they would do. <laughs> just something, though, that's for sure. I know, like, they had talks of, like, making a whole new breed of bug but that was like way back in season one and it, it, it'll probably take a bit to, to come into fruition oh i ran right into that shot perfectly damn <laughs> come here boss go help <laughs> Is there a third one yep yeah yeah but you're whining Probably gonna be a fourth one too. That's a huge drop. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Die. <laughs> I don't have the patience for you. No. Oh, where is it? It's right there. Come on. Man. Go. Out of here, dudes. No. I'm out. <laughs> Give me out. Cave leeches. Oh, big cave. Oh, big cave. Big cave, lots of cave leeches. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, big cave, not that many cave leeches. Never mind. Uh, I'm out of. Uh, I hear something digging, and I don't know what it is, and I really hope it's not a detonator. Alright, anyways, um, I've been I've been clowning around. There's no way that this is the final cave, right? Question mark? There's no way this is the final cave though. Yeah, there's more. Dirt. Just give me that one big Morkai vein that I'm gonna miss. It's gonna be all my fault. <laughs> Cryo Mindlets is fun, but I don't know if I'd always bring it with me. It's definitely really nice with this this hipster, honestly. I've brought this hipster before with um, Cryobolt, I believe. Yeah, I did Cryobolt with it. That was pretty fun. All right, where are the cave leeches? There's one. There's two. Did it now. <laughs> I'm that mall. Uh, I was called Bosco Molly. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to get my uh, wisdom teeth removed, actually. I don't know why. <laughs> they aren't hurting me either. The dentist said that actually two of them grew in straight, and then they're expecting the third one to also grow in straight. So that, that actually surprised them when they found that out last time. They were like, oh, huh. And I was like, what? And they are like, this, this one in the back grew in straight. And I was just like, oh, yeah? <laughs> Does that mean I should get rid of them <laughs> if they grew in straight? It'll probably, like, later down in my life hurt like hell. <laughs> so, might as well, might as well just get it over with, I guess. Shut up. <laughs> Every time you open your big fat pie hole, Mission Control, there's a swarm. There you go, here's the giant Morkite vein that I was looking for. Oh, God. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 the, the gunk seed. Sit down. Take it, go. 
<laughs> Run away! Run! <laughs> Alright, we're going the right way. I am. Whee! Uh, see so yeah, ya, the drop pod, Molly. <laughs> Gotta go! Yes, Red Sugar. Yes. Oh my god, Red Sugar, my beloved. <laughs> are they now? Doesn't sound like it to me. <laughs> I actually honestly don't remember where I had to go. Oh, hey. This is where the oppressor was digging. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. Thanks for the shortcut, oppressor. No. Nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Maximum reach my butt. Ugh. All right, I'm up here now, boys. <laughs> and Molly's all the way back there. <laughs> oh, hey, Steve. Oh, wow. A sploder. <laughs> I need to pay attention. I always thought, like, what if Molly... Or what if the mission ends before Molly gets to the drop pod? That would always, like, I, I was always just on my mind. Boom, 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 boom. Rock and stone. <laughs> Rock and stone. <laughs> Quote unquote, good work as I got down five times. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Mission Control. I'm qualified. <laughs> yeah, let's see five downs. <laughs> oh, God, I'm up for promotion. Now, Mission Control is going to drone on and on about it. Uh, uh, options, audio. Shut up. Anywho, besides my epic uh, gameplay there, <laughs> uh, this was a pretty fun build. The, this hipster build is always like, I don't know, the most enjoyable to me, in my opinion. I really like using this build a lot just on any missions. <laughs> it's especially really uh, nice paired with the cryo mine that's built here with the, the nuke off Suzuki's. So yeah, you know, freeze the bugs and then spray and pray. <laughs> so yeah, no, I had a really fun time. Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate anyone who stuck to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like you did and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Rock and stone, miners.